Hey guys, Chris Birch here, Entrepreneur Strategies, back in the back of the print shop. We are actually setting up today uh, one of the most common um, garments that we do is basic t-shirt print. So we're back here at our Roland 300. We've already set the file up and it's going to print onto a heat transfer style material, which is this right here. And this, the heat transfer is great for small quantity stuff. And we only have 25 shirts. So it kind of sort of makes sense to not set up a silkscreen job to simply just put it on the heat transfer. And I'm going to go over the three or four steps starting right now. Uh -huh. All right, so we're back here. Uh, first thing we want to do is we have our heat press here. We want to go ahead and turn that on. It's already set. It needs to be set at 350 degrees for it to properly cure. Um, <clears throat> similar to this print here, it's stretchable, it's washable. Um, really, it's really hard to break it down. Uh, so we recommend that that vinyl heat transfer, as I said. So while we let that warm up, what I didn't show you is when the machine actually cuts this heat transfer out, the blade comes in and goes around all those where all those letters, and then you have to you have to manually weed, which is similar to how this prints. So what you actually have to do, I'll grab my, let me just peel the edge so you can see what I'm talking about. So it actually you actually have to peel the excess material. So once you peel it off, you're stuck with just the transfer image, right? So now similar to this one, if we were to print this directly to the shirt, it wouldn't work because it would print backwards, right? So what you actually have to do is you have to mask it. So I'm going to take this sheet here and I'm going to put a mask layer down like that. And then we're just going to place that on top of the graphic like so. We're going to take our burnisher and we're going to press on it. Because what you're going to do is you're going to take the clear part, the backing, right? This backing here, the clear part on the back side. And then we're gonna simply just pull the tape out. And you wanna try to keep this as flat as possible and just roll it off. And this has a lot of small letters on it, so I'm actually taking my time. So those little small letters won't peel up as they're trying to do now. So let's just burnish that down one more time because as I said with these little tiny letters like these, sometimes that backing wants to pull those letters up. See, like that, those little teeny tiny letters will come off if you're not careful. But there's always a solution to that. So I'm, I'm fine with that letter coming off because I can still take that letter and place it back in position. All right, so this is the reverse of it, but you see right there, VO, 
supposed to say V-O-T-E as in vote. So I'm going to take these letters and just place them back on that mask. And what's actually helpful is if you have like these little um, tools, it's like a little pick, then I can move it and place it precisely because my fingers are too big to do it. All right. So we got that. And then our heat press is about 235 right now. We want it to be at 350. So we're going to give it a couple more minutes and I'll come back on when we have come up to temperature and then we'll go ahead and press a shirt. All right. So we're back up to temperature, as I said, 350 degrees, um, <clears throat> 10, 10 to 12 seconds is normally more than enough. Some people do 15 seconds. So what we have here, just a medium gilded shirt. I'm going to swing heat press around. And then lay our garment flat. All right. And then we're going to take our masked image, lay that flush on center. And then we're going to take our vellum sheet, lay that on top. And then we're going to come back around and press this and hit the timer. As I said, 10 to 12 seconds is normally enough. Um, some people do do 15 seconds, but for this application, I think 10 seconds is more than enough. And as you see here, that's the beep. So we bring that back up, cut the alarm off, swing away, and then come back out. And you see now our graphic is there. So the next thing we have to do, which is pretty simple, is that we're going to just lay the shirt flat and then peel the mask away. Actually, you can't see it from there. Move the camera so you can see it. And then all I'm doing is just gently pulling away. I normally like to keep it flat and just kind of roll it off. Now you can do this either when it's hot or when it's cold. It makes no difference. Uh, right now it's already pretty cool, even after coming off the heat press that fast. And then that's trash. You now have a custom printed t-shirt. So I have 24 more of these to go. I'm not going to do all 24 on this video. But I like to keep posting content like this. Um, so smash the like button, hit the subscribe, you'll be alerted every time I have new content. I'll also put a link in the description uh, where you can order these custom shirts. Uh, any quantity, we do one, we do 50, we do 1,000, doesn't really matter. You can choose the size, the color. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. It really helps with my content. And once again, Chris Birch signing off. See you guys soon.